I just got these little uh, tuners in from Modulate. When these things first popped up, I was interested. I was a little bit skeptical because I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I like the idea of like baking in this vintage feel, especially if you're using it on a lens that's quite sharp, like the Sigma 18 to 35. But then I started thinking more about it, you know, with the killer that just came out, David Fincher's movie. You know, they did a lot of detuning in post. I'm going to do a huge big video about the killer on the main channel. And part of that video is going to be the idea of detuning your lenses and making them look crappier than they actually are. And there's ways that you can do it in post. But for the purists out there, this is a way to do it in camera analog. I shot a few test frames with the L2, which is emulating a Canon K35 lens, which you're probably familiar with as the James Cameron lens. They use this on The Abyss. They use it on Aliens. A couple of my favorite movies, so I was intrigued by the L2 specifically. I haven't even played with the L1 yet. I have it, but I'm gonna do more tests with it. And all my skepticism, I think, is already out the window because the thing about the 18 to 35 is that it's so sharp and crispy that sometimes I don't even wanna use it. It just has this really clinical feel to it, and I probably can't even give you an example. It's just probably subjective. But the real reason everyone likes to use the 18 to 35, and I completely agree with this, is it's just so damn versatile. The zoom range at f1.8, you can't beat it. And then if you're someone like me who just thinks it's too sharp and clinical, now we have these detuning options that let you remove that edge. It has this adjustable knob on it that's actually changing the detuning level. You can even see the flare change as I detune it more or less. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna do like a bigger breakdown on these because I do want to talk about this idea of detuning lenses rather in camera or if you do it in post like they did on the killer. What's also cool about these is it's also just an adapter for EF to E mount. You can get it for other mounts as well, but I'm going EF to E so I can use it on the FX30 or the A7 IV, stuff like that. There's not really a whole lot to this video. I just wanted to quickly share my enthusiasm having played with this for like an hour and how cool I think it looks so far, but look forward to a bigger video on the main channel. I'm hoping to chat even with the creators of this thing, talk about the killer a little bit and how they detuned their lenses in post rather than doing it in camera. And I've got another short film coming that's gonna be shot entirely on these. By the way, my name is Patrick Tomasso and you will see or hear me next time I feel like making a video. Cheers. No more I love you Changes are she